Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I will tell about uh, VMware ES6.5 and installation and configuration. I've already created a whole uh, a bunch of videos in that and that is in the form of course, which you can take it for $1 in Skillshare. The link is right below. So this video will be a little bit big because the first phase we will let you know how to build your lab, what are the things are required in the lab and then I will let you know how to install this VMware ES6615 on top of VMware Workstation. Okay, so hope this video will be informative and if you like this, subscribe us and also hit the like button and I will let you know step by step how to do and install VMware ES6615. Thank you. Before we jump into create our own uh, lab, we need to know that our hardware, whichever we have like laptop or desktop, that is a supporting virtualization or not. Okay. To support virtualization, what we need is we need uh, virtual technology, which is VT enabled on your uh, CPU as well as uh, CPU should be supported VT as well as you need to enable it from your BIOS. Okay. So uh, what you need to do is to check that you need a tool, which is what it, uh, you need to go to a website called www.grc.com then securable. Okay. This is the link. So once you reach this link, you will be having a tool, uh, the securable. Okay. Just download this particular tool. I will download this and I will save it in our VMware training section. I will save it and you can see it is downloaded. If I open it and it will click yes and now it will give you the information what CPU model you have and uh, does it support hardware virtualization. This is important. If your CPU does not support hardware virtualization then this particular uh, lab you will not able to do so you need to have a CPU which is in a, which is enabled and capable enough to uh, do the hardware uh, hardware virtualization which is VT okay so it is uh, it should be yes so once this is showing as yes then you are good and then you can move forward and build your lab okay so I will see you in the next video okay to start this particular class you need to download the VMware ES6.5 version okay so we will be downloading the hypervisor that is the important ISO file for this particular whole class but you can also download the two packages which I'm going to suggest in this particular video okay so what you need to do is you need to go to Google and search for VMware ES6.5 download okay then you will be landing to the face um, this, this is the first page and first link you just open it and you will be uh, landing to this particular website which is a VMware website which says that VMware downloads v VMware vSphere okay and you can choose the version so here we need to download 6.5 which is the latest one and you just need to go down and select this particular um, version essential plus and VMware vSphere hypervisor this is the file which we need and you can also download this file as well which is a vCenter okay so I will let you know how you can configure this what are the requirements so the first thing first file which is required for this particular class is this download this you need to click download here and once you download you have uh, the details like this is the file size and this is the ISO format so I will prefer you to just download the ISO format and you can um, hit download now and it will start download I've already downloaded it in my place and I, will, I can show you that and in the VMware section you can see uh, I have the two files one is the hypervisor and another is the vCenter so you can download both files the, the first thing is required is this hypervisor uh, which you should download and in the next video I will tell you how you can install and configure the machine okay so in this video I will tell you what extra application you need okay so you, you also need to download this VMware Workstation Pro okay which is the version 12 which you can download from this particular link you just need to go to again you go to Google and search for VMware workstation uh, download you will land to this particular page which is from the VMware okay and once you have this particular um, tool you can download it for trial also you can download uh, this particular package uh, this, this is going to a pro version you need to purchase this particular product but if you want to have it you can download a trial one or you can download a player version that also work for you okay and uh, it does also have an open source version of VMware workstation 
which you can also use and download okay so once you download this the installation is very straightforward once you install it then I will let you know how to use that particular ISO which you have downloaded and then you can use this workstation to build your machine and I will show you step by step how to create a VMware ESXi 6.5 machine on top of VMware workstation okay so before we install we also need to know the hardware requirement here we can see in this particular URL we have a hardware requirement of ASXI 6.0 that is quite similar with the other requirements so basically what we need to do is we need to have a CPU which is 64 bit architecture okay and that CPU also do support Intel VT that I have already told you that the CPU should be having virtualization technology it should be x64 bit and also you must have minimum 4 GB of RAM it is recommended to have 8 GB or more but it is better to have at least 4 GB of RAM so if you are having at least 4 GB then you can build your machine I prefer to have 8 GB of RAM so that you can create some other machines as well as it is required in the whole um, uh, whole lab building a whole lab okay so this is it what you need to build your machine so let's move on to the next video now okay now after uploading the ISO we just need to verify I will select the data store <coughs> I will select the data store here and browse data store if I select ISO now you can see we have the ISO file which we have uploaded okay so now what we can do is I will go to this virtual machine tab and I can create new virtual machine so I need to click this create new virtual machine I will create a virtual machine I will select this create new virtual machine I will click next I will give a name server 17 compatibility 6.1 guest operating system I will select uh, Linux and uh, I have the options from where I can choose and I will select Ubuntu 64 and I will click next and this is the data store which I am using I will click next here it will give me the options to select select CPU uh, memory I'm picking up the default settings here and um, uh, RAM hard disk if I go to this hard disk I have thin provisioning or any other option which I need to go so thin provisioning is the best option to choose so I will select this and it gives you the by default SCSI controller and SATA controller USB network adapter and uh, the CD and DVD which are the options we have okay so uh, I can also have a video card option which I can choose and uh, this ISO file is going to uh, the CD is going to mount so I will click next here and it is giving you a little bit of uh, summary that what we have selected I will click finish okay so now I can see this machine is ready so I can select this and uh, in the action I can go to in the action tab I can go to edit setting okay and uh, if I go to the CD and I just want to check that is there any option that I can uh, mount any ISO file here so I will pick a ISO file from the data store and I will select ISO and I will pick this okay and I will select and I will save the option okay so what it is doing is it is mounting this and now in the next boot it should really power on so what I will do is I will hit the power on button here action before I get the power on I would like to launch the console as well the launch remote console I will open continue anyway okay so what it is doing is it is trying to show you up the same machine uh, you can see in the VMware workstation console okay and what else option we have if I go to the, that little browser and if I go to the action tab and in the console tab and there is option like download VMRC so uh, I will need to allow this done and I will go here again 
and console and download VMRC. So VMRC is like it's a console a rem a VMware re remote console from where we can really uh, get the machine uh, UI. So I can download this package. It is 26 MB. I would I would like to really download and show the console before I power on. So I will click download here. It is asking me to log in with my ID. I'm going to log in. And if I go here, I need to accept the license and agreement. I accept that and I, I will download this. Okay. So it is downloading. I will save this particular file. It is downloaded. What I will do is I will right click and open it here. I will click run and click next. I accept the terms and exemptions and click next here and click next. And you can check or uncheck that you that that is your choice. I will click next and install. I will install here and click finish. This also require a restart, so I'm not doing the restart as of now. So I will click no, and this requires a restart. Okay. So what I will do is I will restart and then power on. And in the next video, I will show you up how to log in with that particular. Um, uh, this particular tool okay thank you very much for watching this particular video till end and now i will let you know that in case you want to get this whole series what you need to do is you need to uh, go to this uh, link in the description and grab this particular course which is for one dollars but when you grab it you will go, well, also going to get two months of subscription uh, from skillshare and they have more than sixteen thousand of courses in their portal and you can get and number of courses and take it as many time you want to watch so thank you very much for watching this subscribe to our channel and there will be lots of videos like this in future as well thank you very much